Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Mary Ellen. As I was considering what to focus on today, I started looking ahead in my trivia devotional that I read with my 93 year old grandfather. One of the facts that they have written for June 23rd is that the Secret Service was founded in 1860. This immediately made me think of the American Revolution, which is a fifth grade social study standards in many states. When I teach about the American Revolution, one of the resources that I like to use is the Evan Moore History Pockets. This is a lot of fun and the students learn so much information. One of the sections within this book is called Spies and Traitors. So today I would like to look at one of the activities contained within this section. The Spy and Trader section begins with a Fast Facts as well as About Spies and Traders page. Now the students will receive their own copy in order to put in their binder. However, before we begin any activities, I want to make sure that the students are introduced to these facts. So I start by putting the title up on our board and then I tape the facts under random chairs throughout the room. The students then go on a mini scavenger hunt and look to see if they have any of the facts underneath their chairs and they read them out loud to the class. Then they come up and they tape the facts underneath our title. This makes it a lot more fun and they are immediately introduced to these important facts. One of the first activities that we do is create invisible ink. The book does provide you with a scientific experiment sheet with the directions, the supplies that you need, and then an area for the students to write down their predictions, their observations, and then of course, their conclusions. This activity is a lot of fun and I do let my students create more than one secret message. I would like to mention the construction of the history pockets themselves. The example I have here was completed as a homeschool project. Although I absolutely love it, since I do a lot of flexible seating within my public school classrooms, it does not transfer well into that setting. The students' workbooks are usually placed on a shelf. Therefore, I have the students utilize three ring binders, and instead of pockets, we put our projects into page protectors. They do still get to make their book cover. We just make sure we get three ring binders that have that little slide in in the front, and everything stays protected. If you plan on implementing this activity within your classroom or at home with your family, please don't forget to give my video a thumbs up. Also, remember to subscribe and click the bell for notifications so you don't miss out on any future videos. Thank you so much for watching. And remember to be proud of your work, productive in your day, and positively joyful.